Hi guys, I'm really excited today because I'm going to be doing a first impressions of an espresso maker that I got given. It was a gift, second hand too. Um, I don't have any information on how to use it, I've never used one before. So this is going to be 100% first impressions, also me as a barista trying to work it out, see how user friendly it is. So stay tuned. So this is it here, and these are all its little bits, so it has a little jug, has little baskets. I don't actually know where this came from because I pulled it apart, like I took out the tray and this bit, Oopsie. and I gave it all like a big clean yesterday washed it all up. Um, but yeah, I don't know where this came from or what it is. So, up in here, that's where this bit here, like, locks in. Like this. And this is where the espresso should come out, so. I'm just realizing now that I don't know where the buttons are to make it go. It says power, but like the, the heating light isn't on, I don't think, so it should be heating on light, I don't know. Okay, so apparently it just had to build up pressure, and then I'm fairly sure that the heating light did come on. I don't know if it's still on, it's really hard to tell. Apparently there is no button to make the espresso go, like on a proper coffee machine. You just put this bit in, and then it just goes, apparently. And I'm assuming this little dial is for the steamer one. Here, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, I don't like that I can't move it. Well, I also can't afford a real coffee machine. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it a little bit longer because I, I don't know. We'll just leave it a little bit longer because I can't imagine it's heated up the water in time. I'm just real nervous it's going to explode. There was no indicator in the... Because you put, you take, open this, obviously not right now while it's building pressure, and you put water in it. There's no indicator about how much water to put in there, so I just guessed. I didn't put, I didn't like proper fill it, fill it up, because I didn't want to overfill it. Like, where's the pressure going? Is there enough room in there for all the pressure? I don't know. Like I said, someone, it was given to me. So I didn't necessarily have all the info with it. So this is just me trying to figure it out. This is what it is. Okay, so it comes with these two different baskets. Like one is smaller and one is like quite big. And it has numbers inside that say two and four. So I don't know if that's indicating like spoonfuls or like the um, serving size. I'm not sure. One, two, two and four. I don't know. Maybe it is like a half a serve and then a full serve in here. I don't know. But let's use the big one because I'm going to use like a mug. And I realize none of my mugs are going to fit under the basket when it's in here. So I'm going to put a little bowl under there. Um, and now I'm just going to fill it up with the coffee grind. And I'm going to use the little scoop too. I'm gonna go off that the numbers mean um, scoop, so let's try that out. I think it goes up. Alright. One, two, three, let's do four scoops, like, let's get wild. Two. You're also normally supposed to um, tamp the coffee down, and it doesn't come with like a little tamper or anything, so. Uh, well, that's three scoops and it's full. I don't want to overfill it because it might like backfire the machine a little bit. Let's just, like this is three scoops. 
So let's just go with that. The coffee is ground fairly coarse in my Gloria Jeans coffee, medium coarse. So it shouldn't cause it to, I don't know, it should be all right. Um, I'm gonna press it a little bit. Hopefully it can handle this. All right, now I've put it in there. I'm just gonna get a little bowl to put underneath because apparently it just goes once you put it in. I actually think that that is potentially too tall as well. Let's see. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. All right, let's, oh, the heating light is on again. I just don't know. Let's just put it in. Okay, so you always start off to this, um, this side and then you bring it round. It's really locked in and nothing is happening let's just see if this oh I turned the dial to cappuccino and now the heating light is like definitely on I don't understand and I really don't want to leave I want to take this out because you're not supposed to leave the um espresso against the heat not that it looks like it was against any heat it's not even wet all right we're just gonna wait the heating light is like definitely on again now i thought that would be for the steamer one how do you turn the steamer wand on this is just annoying it's hot it's hot up here why is it saying it's heating maybe that is the heating element i don't know maybe this is like on like you turn it from dot to little cappuccino and then it's like, boom, we are making coffee now. <laughs> Instead of just having a bloody on button. I just don't understand. Hot water was like dripping out of there. So I just plugged the thing back in real quick. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise. I really hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> oh. I think it's making the coffee. Oh my god. Oh, this is frustrating. Oh. <laughs> Tiny drips into the water now that's in my bowl. Oh, that's terrible. I hope it picks up. This is what the espresso is looking like right now, which is real pitiful. What are like done now? I think so. Well, there you have it. Looks like soy sauce in this bowl. Are it going again? Maybe that um, number is how many cups it will make because this is getting like really, really full. I'm definitely not gonna need to drink all this. It's like, you know. God. Maybe I need to turn it off. Stop making coffee now, thank you. Um, and again, with the grinds. <clears throat> oh God. With the grinds in here, like you can keep them or you can throw them out. Like keep them to make a coffee scrub if you wanted to. I'm just gonna say right now, it doesn't smell very good. <clears throat> and it doesn't really look like espresso. Like you're supposed to get a nice creamy crema on top and it'll be a lighter brown. But again, it's just like this little guy. I just was hoping it would be a bit more special. I also found where you do <clears throat> the steamer, which is back here. It's 
not. That just makes the water come out. This is a little steam symbol. And this is the symbol on the back. It's the bloody steam symbol. And all it did was like spit out a bunch of hot water. Like, excuse me? What? Really, the, the coffee dial that I had it on while it was making espresso, I just turned it and it turned on the steamer wand. What the, what is going on? Like, do I turn it off after it's made the espresso and then I turn it back to make the steamer? It just does not make sense to me. I don't know who was like, yeah, let's do it that way. Whatever, let's, let's see. Doesn't even spin, uh, spin the milk. Oh, my cat's coming. I want the milk to at least be hot. It's not spinning. I'm just gonna turn it over. I think it's a little bit, and we got a little bit of movement. Okay, so the milk didn't turn out so bad. Now, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, that's real trash. And it's spilled everywhere. Lionel, get out of them. Okay, so I just finished making it. <clears throat> and it's really not like a cappuccino. And that's partially my fault for how I was steaming it. I did like, you know, a couple of times how you make the froth and then I was just trying to spin it because it just looked so bubbly and it's pretty much flat, um, which is a bit disappointing for a cappuccino maker. I really don't think that the wand has enough, oh, it's not in focus. I really just don't think that the wand has enough power to make a proper cappuccino. It's. I mean, unless you were just gonna go like froth it the whole time, like where it makes that noise, I I don't know, I'm not about that. But I, I just don't know. I'm gonna try it now. I put cinnamon sugar on mine because I wanted to do that this morning. I'm just gonna try it now and see. I'll be honest, it tastes real weird. Um, I'm not even gonna drink it. That might just be, ugh. However, it has not been cleaned properly from when my mom gave it to me. I did try and clean it, but I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it. We ain't drinking that. Tastes funky. But, you know, ugh, sorry. Get out of the way, Lionel. I'll keep playing with it and I'll come back and maybe do an updated video where I have maybe learned how to use it, learned how to clean up in here is where I'm concerned about. Um, whether or not that's been cleaned properly, I wiped it out, but I haven't flushed it out. Maybe I should have just let hot water run out of it a bit before I used it. That was dumb, I probably should have done that. But again, I was trying to figure out how to use it. Can you not do this, Lionel? Um, cleaning wise for all of its like bits, you can probably just rinse them after you've um, used them once or twice. Uh, and then I'll maybe when they start to look a bit grotty, then stick them in the dishwasher or, or give them a proper wash. Oh boy, what a disappointing. So, first impressions, I would say that without instructions, this is without instructions, it's not particularly user friendly. Like it didn't make sense that on the, um, the dial that the little cappuccino was both somehow both is the espresso maker like to indicate to make espresso and also to indicate to make the steamer one go after making an espresso but that the same symbol was used on the steamer wand as the other option on the dial and that just made the like water run out of the um oh 
I don't know about that. I don't know. That really bothered me. I mean, I didn't expect it to have a lot of power, the steam wand, and I... I don't know. I thought at least that, like, the espresso part would run, like, fairly well. I mean, it made espresso, but obviously not as good quality as a proper machine. I'm still a bit disappointed, because I was hoping that I would have the ability to make some at least nice espresso with that machine during the quarantine at home. So it's a little bit poo. But I'll keep playing with it, like I said, and oh my god, my whole. I'll keep playing with it and hopefully in the future I'll do an updated video where I'm using it better or I have figured more stuff out. If you have any ideas or tips for me, leave them in the comment section below and hopefully I'll try them out in my next video about it. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.